The latest generation of the Peugeot E3008, as evolving into a fastback SUV, is still sharp, but I feel it has lost some of the personality of the previous version, even though the overall design, both inside and out, shows great attention to detail. In this GT trim, it's especially appealing, despite a few quirks like the unusually high belt line and the upright area end, which does, however, allow for a generous minimum boot capacity of 520 liters. The E3008 AWD stands out for its excellent efficiency around 19 kWh per 100 km in real world condition, strong smooth performance with 325 horsepower and 0 to 100 kmh time of 6 seconds, plus rapid 8 130 km acceleration, ideal for highway use. The all-wheel drive has confidence on slippery or mountainous roads, and the aerodynamic design with a 6.0.28 helps both range and charge performance with peaks of 160 kW in DC, one of the best of the segment. The infotainment is intuitive, highly customizable, and includes practical features around the region petals. The all-wheel drive also brings a new suspension setup with an anti-roll bar added for stability and functions tailored for light off-roading. And yes, they do slightly improve the driving feel, but anyway, this suspension is still tuned for comfort and it can feel too soft, resulting in noticeable body roll, some dive on the braking and mild steer. Steering has responsiveness despite the sporty setup, and the region paddle logic with the minus uh, increasing braking may confuse some users. Compared to other SCLA medium models like the Opel Grand one, it feels less composed in dynamic driving. What we like is the excellent efficiency, the trunk space and the overall quality. What we don't like is that there is only the small battery, the head handlebar system is missing and the suspension is too soft.